All right, update time. So a bit of a change in plans. Originally, I was gonna focus mostly on the frame first and get the chassis and suspension mocked up. But uh, it's gonna take a while to get the uh, conversion stem and uh, parts to get the fork mounted up. And it'll also give me some time to figure out exactly what and if I'm going to uh, brace as far as the frame goes because these things are pretty flexy uh, from what I'm reading. So from there, I will uh, move my attention over to the engine. But in the meantime, I picked up a swing arm and drive shaft out of a later model R65, I believe it's a 1980, uh, because they are a little heavier duty. You can see the orange is the original, and the one on the right is the, uh, the new one. It's a little thicker. A little heavier duty and, and also uh, two birds with one stone the uh, original drive shaft is just a solid fixed drive shaft so you you've got to be pretty slick with your shifting to get it to uh, not clunk pretty hard uh, and the new one incorporates a kind of a like a clevis a spring and clevis device I'm sure there's some BMW terminology I don't know but uh, and that will dampen the shifting, which will be a nice upgrade. I've been reading that it's a really nice upgrade for these bikes. So I figured I'd do that and and get that all done. Uh, unfortunately, the eBay description said that the U-joints felt smooth. Not so much, but it's all right. I'll change them out. <clears throat> uh, so the engine I've gotten a little bit more pulled apart. I uh, got my rod bolt tool socket from uh, Napa. That, that's like a special M10. Here it is. 10 millimeter. Fits in there nicely. Um, and pulling the rods apart, kind of what I expected. The bearings look like they just got a lot of miles on them. There's no evidence of abuse or real damage. Um, I'm not a... Uh, uh, guru at reading bearing wear, but uh, from what I can tell, there's some wiping happening. And I don't see any debris or foreign object damage, but it's got probably some dry starts, and uh, it's been sitting and starting with uh, without a lot of oil. And that's my diagnosis. Looks, it doesn't look terrible. I could probably put it back in there and get another many, many tens of thousands of miles out of it. This one actually looks quite a bit better. If the other one looked like that, I'd be inclined to just put it back together and leave the crank in, but um, we got it all this far, might as well just do it, take it apart. But everything came apart real nice. Pulled out the, uh, the lifters. Those look really in nice shape. I've heard that I guess they can get corrosion on the faces. Um, the corrosion the faces all look nice. I put a straight edge. Uh, machine a straight edge on uh, the crowns and they're they're still nicely crowned they're not flattened out nice and smooth so those are all reusable because it's a good thing because those are super expensive to replace uh, the crankshaft visually I haven't mic'd it yet but it looks like it's in it's in nice shape it's it's uh, nice and smooth no surprises there uh, timing cover came off nicely I'm learning that you can sink a thousand dollars into special tools to get these things apart, but uh, there's only a few that I think you really need. This little heat on the uh, on the snout here, and uh, some gentle tapping with a uh, rubber hammer, and it popped right off. Uh, the timing chain looks okay, but I'll replace it. And the gears, they look okay. I guess that's a BMW thing to just keep running them and just replace the chain. I've never done that on any engine, but those gears are really expensive to replace. So I may do that, just change the chain out. But everything looks like it's in good serviceable condition. Uh, the only thing that I really found that looks ugly is the uh, flywheel. I don't know if that's... Sure doesn't look normal to me. I don't know. Maybe uh, let me know what you think. It's got pretty pronounced wear on the edge there where the 
starter teeth and gauge it. Not sure if that needs to be replaced. And then uh, a goodie came in the mail from eBay. That's gonna improve things. So that's what's gonna go in the front. And uh, well, in case you care, this is a 2005, no sorry, 1995 uh, Honda CR250. I just finished uh, restoring. It was a basket case. It was uh, last year's, or this year's project. Still have to put some pegs on it and flush the tank, fuel tank out the fuel line on and a couple of little details but it's uh, pretty much done this was a fun project this has been in the family since I believe 1999 and had it all it's 100% pulled apart this is a fun project so there you have it